Oh, good morning. This is the first. Hello, Barrow Barrows. My little Barrows. Here he is. There's he going? Hello. Hello to the people, Barrowson. Anyway, this is the first daily vlog I've done for a while. Why does my wife leave the lights on before she goes to work? Um, mainly because I've just not been, not really done it, <laughs> really. Um, but I'm doing it because uh, there's a few changes have happened um, with my clubs. Some of you may or may not know that um, I've changed my shafts to the Project X 6.5s. Um, so today we're going to test them and see how we get on with them, uh, see if they've changed. The reason I got them was to reduce the launch and reduce the spin because I was launching it too quickly and the spin was too much. So that's why we've changed them. So we're going to go into the sim today and see if there's uh, any difference. I'm also going to put a little test stop. You may hear what it's on the, uh, on the table because it does drive my wife mad because I played golf yesterday. But, uh, and they got absolutely drenched. So we have to dry them out, don't we? Um, so we're testing this four iron as well. See what sort of distance we get. I used it yesterday. Um, hit a couple of shots and it seemed to go fine. Uh, but yeah, look at that. Woo! Drives her insane. And these lights are on. Oh. So like she turns all the lights on and goes to work. It's like, Lee, you'll pay the electricity bill. So, yeah, that's what we're doing. Um, it's testing those out today, so we shall do that. We've got to go to the post office or drop-off shops, drop some parcels off. Um, and then we'll take a look at the shop. It's in the middle of a refurbishment at the minute, but we can show you what the plans are and what we're doing. So let's do that today, shall we? Right. We've got to the shop, um, so let's give you a little look around the shop. Um, it's a bit of a tip at the minute. We've got rid of all the vaping stuff. Uh, we just need to do some decorating and then do a full refurbishment. But yeah, it's a, it's a bit of a tip at present, but let's have a quick look around. So we've still got the clothing, we've still got Orca, um, some second hand clubs that have come in because uh, we'll be doing second hand clubs so, uh, and some single irons. And obviously we've got the sim still, uh, projector. Then over here we'll have, uh, we've got some more used clubs, uh, balls, wedges and stuff. We're still waiting for deliveries. Then we've got the coffee machine, the drinks machine. There's Rosie Pants. There she is. Hello. There's little Rosie. She's still here. Not talking today. And then the rest of the place is a bit of a tip. Uh, we've had a move around lots of stuff to bin, uh, do some decorating. But in essence, this will be uh, quite a large simulator and golf shop. Not massive, um, but big enough. There's a delivery of balls. We're uh, doing used balls as well in packs of a dozen. Just opened it up and they all fell out. But we've got uh, chrome softs in there. Uh, Pro V ones, and then in there we've got True Vizes, Strixons, um, and Velocities to start with. But these are all A grade to Pearl, so they'll be available uh, online as well. Yeah, that's quite a cool one. Le Golf National Ryder Cup ball. Um, yeah, so. Yeah, we'll be selling them in the shop and I'll also be doing them on eBay and online um, in packs of 12, but they need unpacking. So, like I said, I'm in the simulator. I'm just going to test the uh, the new shaft. I can't think of what I'm saying now. Test the new shafts out, um, see if they're uh, any better, getting better launch conditions and spin. Um, so we'll we'll go and do that now. Right, so yeah, we've got now the Project X 6.5 shafts in these. Before this was uh, the NH9 Pro Stiff. 
when I got fit for them by Alex, they were perfect for me when I was 17 handicap. Uh, my swing speed was quite low, so they were perfect to get the launch up. Uh, get the spin down because I've always been spinny, um, but now I've sped up a little bit and I'm getting sort of like 90 to 100 mile an hour on my 7 iron, depending on the day, basically. They were just too spinny. The launch was at about 26, 27 degrees, which is uh, this number down here, um, and spinning around eight and a half thousand, which was too much spin. So I was getting about eight to eight and a, um, 150 to 155 yards carry um, on a good hit because it was just ballooning up too much. So we've changed to these. Uh, same shot, so exactly the same um, club, still 34 degrees of loft, just. Um, a stiffer shaft so 6.5 x stiff shaft now so let's see if we can uh get the spin and the and the launch down i'm hoping to get somewhere launch angle around 20 degrees um let's put optimizer on so we can see how it affects in the optimization um and spin somewhere around five Five and a half to six thousand because we're hitting off a mat spins always down anyway a little bit but let's have a look so we've got tailor-made tp5 ball let's see where we go in oh god should have warmed up first so 156 still high launch but that was a pant shot pant shot should have warmed up first Oh man, hit a decent shot Lee. The launch is down, the spin's down, swing speed was crap. I will hit a decent one in a minute. That was a good hit. The joy. Wowzers. Yeah, so launch, 22, angle, spin at 5, 2, it was a bit pulley though, let's try and, um, I've got a natural draw but that was just a massive hook, let's try and aim that out to the right, hopefully that draws around a bit, there we go, there's the shot. The, the launch angle of that was 24, so it's still quite high, but the spin was down at 6, um, as opposed to 8. So that's travelled 168 and 179, but my ball speed at 116 is still quite low. Still need to warm up a bit. I ideally want that mid-120s, really. That hit, nice draw. There we go, that is what I want. So, launch angle down at 23, still high, but I've always got, I've always been launched. Spin now at 6.7, which is great. My ball speed is now up at 128, 94 club head speed. And we're carrying now 183 to 194. Remember, this isn't your P790 or your, your new M sim at 27 degrees. This is a 34 degree seven iron. So, normal lofts. That was fat. Let's see where that goes for a fat, fat pull. Horrible shot. Yeah, that was just a bad shot all round. Come on. I really should warm up before I do these videos, but you don't always warm up on the course, do you? to hit should come round uh, quite a high hit high launch high spin but well, getting the distance now that's a difference so it's, that would have been that shot before would have been probably about a 9,000 spin for that sort of connection right so 
one more with a seven. Probably my best hit. Just pulled it again. That's what I want. That launch and that spin. I just got to direct it better. Started that off four degrees to the left, and then with draw spin, that's doing nothing but pulling. Right, come on, aim out to the right. I said one more, but we'll have one more. There's a better shot. Better launch, better spin. All right, let's have a look at that on an optimizer. So my launch angles in the green, that looks yellow, but it's in the green. The spin's a little bit down, but it's the mat. Matt's lower spin a little bit more. So that's going to be up sort of around closer to 6,000 on, on grass. Uh, and the launch angle, the descent angle is neither here nor there. But I will take that all day long. 179 carry, 192 total. So it, that goes to show that uh, it was the right move for me. It was suggested that shaft by Dan Hendrickson during a lesson. Um, he put that shaft into a different club head and it brought the launch and the spin down. So it was a bit of a, a gamble buying the, the shafts and paying for them to be reshafted. Um, but I definitely gained yardage there. The launch is better, the spin's better. Um, and I'm getting up to 170, 175 on a big hit even further uh, with my 7 iron. whereas before it was 150 and 155 maximum, unless I thinned it. Um, another club I bought was uh, the Titleist TMB. I wanted a 4 iron. I could have got a 4 iron in the RS10s, um, but I just saw this on eBay. It was 50 quid, so I thought I'd give it a whirl. It's got the X100 shaft in. Um, so we'll see, sort of similar shaft, maybe a little bit spinnier than the 6.5, but we'll give it a go and see what sort of numbers we get with this. And I seem to be on a bit of a pulley day, which doesn't bode well for this club. And Skytrack fails me on the first attempt. Oh, I think I need to clean the lens. I think it's a bit dusty, but we'll just get on with it. I'll take that, don't need to hit anymore. Four iron, 212, 235. Three spin, 19 launch, perfect. Well, uh, seems it was a good choice. Um, gained yardage, less spin, less launch. Um, and that all comes from lessons because I've been having lessons with Dan Hendrickson. He's um, pretty much shown me where, what my, we kept trying to adjust my swing for the clubs I had. Um, and we just couldn't adjust it anymore to get the launch down. It had to be an equipment change. So we tested a few shafts. The 6.5, sorry, well, the 6.5 came up better um, as far as shafts go. So we've, I made the decision to change to it and it seems to be the right decision. And that four iron on a whim, 50 quid bargain off eBay, I'll keep it, I think, with those sort of numbers. I only hit one, well, two, one, and the Skytrack didn't register the first. But that'll be staying in the bag. For damn sure. Right, I do, before I go, I do have some exciting news. Um, for 2020, I do have a playing contract with um, a brand, so I'll be using their wedges, their glove, and their balls for the 2020 season, which will be announced once they turn up and we unbox them. That's really exciting, and it's really good stuff for the channel um, and for me. Um, you know, I get to get a little bit of access to try new stuff. But um, that's pretty much it for me, the real announcement on that. If you do follow me on Twitter, uh, the handle's down below. Please follow me on Twitter, uh, where I put most of my updates. Um, I am on Instagram as well. The handle will come up here. And um, also follow uh, Lee Whitaker Golf on U uh, Lee Whitaker Golf YouTube channel on Facebook. Or you can follow the store and the simulator on Facebook as well. That comes under Lee Whitaker Golf Simulator and Store. 
um, where we'll be putting up offers second hand clubs so if you are interested just drop me a pm um, and we can we can send stuff out to you but otherwise um if you are new here please drop a subscribe please drop a like and a comment let me know if you think i made the right decision changing those shafts i think i have but i'd love to know your opinion otherwise i'll see you all again soon on the next vlog uh have a good weekend